Hey, what's up guys, Winston here. Let me introduce you to the MSI MPG X870E carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. This motherboard uses AMD's latest enthusiast grade X870E chipset and supports all of the latest Ryzen 7000, 8000 and 9000 processors on the AM5 socket. It features a total of 18 plus 2 plus 1 duet power rail system and 110 amps SPS for maximum stability and performance. It also uses an 8-layer 2-ounce copper server-grade PCB. The motherboard employs a black carbon color scheme with Mystic-like RGB. It also includes an extended heatsink with a heat pipe and an enlarged chipset heatsink for efficient cooling. It comes with MSI's Memory Boost technology supporting AMD Expo memory with speeds of up to DDR5 84+. Expansion slots include two PCI 5 x 16 slots with Steel Armor 2 and one PCI 4 x 16 slot. For storage, you get four SATA ports and two PCI Gen 5 M.2 slots as well as two PCI Gen 4 M.2 slots. There are several M.2 heat shields with the easy DIY design for simple installation of your SSD. There's also the easy PCIe release feature, which is ideal for securing and removal of your graphics card. Other features include the 7.1 HD audio, the onboard power on and reset buttons, as well as the diagnostic LED. You also get the latest USB 4 ports, the 2.5 GB LAN, as well as the 5 GB LAN and Wi-Fi 7. We'll be testing this motherboard using a Ryzen 9 9950X along with a 48 GB of DDR5-8000. We'll also be using a GeForce RTX 4080 to see how the whole system performs. So let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig, but before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and then we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the MSI MPG X870E carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. It supports PCIe 5 and DDR5 RAM, as well as all the Ryzen 7000, 8000 and 9000 series of processors. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Okay. Inside this box, we have the Wi-Fi 7 antenna. Let's have a look at the accessories underneath this motherboard. All right, we have a, a pair of SATA cables for your SSDs. We have a three pin ARGB extension cable. We have a four pin RGB splitter cable. We have a USB extension cable here. And we have another cable for your extensions there. We have a M.2 screw mount there. And uh, the key for locking your M.2 uh, mounts and also a USB thumb drive, which I guess contains all the drivers. All right, we have a set of MSI stickers and the information pamphlet about uh, entering the shout out, the MSI shout out. And we have the European regulatory notices and also the quick installation guide. All right, here we have the MSI MPG X870E carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. It's a very nice motherboard. It has a nice black finish here. And as you can see, it has the AM5 socket there, supporting all the uh, latest Ryzen 7000, 8000 and 9000 series processors. Let's take a look at the back of the board. Just a nice, black lake there for your AM5 socket there. All right, it's got some very nice large heat sinks uh, for your VRM and MOSFETs. And there's also a heat pipe underneath here, which uh, helps with cooling. We'll start at the top right here. We have two of the eight pin PCI power connectors, which you need to connect to the power supply. And on the top here, we have one, two, three, four, four of the uh, four pin uh, fan headers for cooling. There's the three pin ARGB, the diagnostic LED and then the 24 pin ATX power connector there. Here we have the USB type E for your front USB C. There's four SATA ports for your SSDs and then two connectors there for USB 3. Okay, along the bottom there we have your usual connectors for your pinouts, uh, your power on and reset switches there, uh, power LEDs, and then of course you have your power button, reset buttons, then you have your 
your three pin RGB, two headers for your USBs, another fan header. In fact, there's one, two, three fan headers for your uh, cooling. Let's use your extra eight pin PCI power connector. And then we have uh, another three pin RGB, another four pin RGB, and your audio connector there. All right. For expansion slots, we have two PCI 5 times 16 slot and one PCI 4 times 16 slot. For M.2 storage, you have one of the PCI Gen 5 underneath here, another one underneath this heat shield, and two more PCI Gen 4. And this is quite good. I love the uh, very easy to use lift and push, uh, the uh, easy DIY. Just push that little slot there, and this whole heatsink comes off very easy. And very easy to put back. You just line it up with the slots and you just kind of hit that click. That's it. Same with the uh, big heat shield for your uh, M.2 SSDs here. Also, this whole thing comes up. And again, you just line up the uh, notches to the heat shield and it just whole thing just clicks in place like that. Very simple and very easy. All right. We also have four of the DDR5 DIMM slot supporting memory speeds of up to DDR5 84 plus. And if you notice, there's a little button here. This is the easy release uh, for your uh, PCIe slots here. You just press this button. You can see there's a little connector there. It shows up really easy. It locks it, the card in place and you unlock it so it's easy to pull out your graphics card. All right, so this motherboard is pretty packed with a lot of features. Um, let's take a look at the I.O. panel. All right, we'll start from this side. We have one HDMI output, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six of the USB 3.2 Gen 1. Then you have USB 4s. There's a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C. There's a flash BIOS button here. There's a clear CMOS button and also a smart button. Um, then you notice there's 2.5 gigabit LAN and also a 5 gigabit LAN. And then we have one, two, three more USB 3.2. Gen 2, and this is the 10 gigabit, another USB-C with the 10 gigabit. There's your Wi-Fi 7 connectors there, and also some uh, audio connectors, including line-out, mic-in, and SPDIF. All right. Again, this motherboard looks very nice. I love all the extra nice features that this motherboard has, and uh, we'll be installing a Ryzen 9 9950X along with 48 gigabytes of DDR5 8000, as well as a GeForce RTX 4080 Super to see how this whole system will perform. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the MSI MPG X870E carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. The MSI MPG X870E carbon Wi-Fi motherboard is targeted at the enthusiast gamer and users who's on the upper end of the mainstream market. It's surprisingly feature-rich for a gaming motherboard. During our tests, we managed to get excellent scores in all of our benchmarks. For Cinebench 2024, we got an extremely good score of 2,248 points for multi-core and 139 points for single-core. For PC Mark 10, we got excellent scores of 11,040 and 18,224 for Pass Mark 11. We also got an amazing score of 12,222 for Procyon Video Editing Benchmark 
and a score of 229 for the AI Computer Vision benchmark. For 3 Mark Steel Nomad and Speedway, we got excellent scores of 6,559 and 7,433 respectively. And finally for Port Royal and Time Spy, we got very good scores of 18,233 and 24,302 respectively. The MSI MPG X870E Carbon Wi-Fi is an excellent high-end gaming motherboard that's absolutely packed with some great enthusiast features. It also offers amazing performance, great aesthetics and is perfect for any Ryzen 9000 series of processors. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. All right, there you have it. That was a quick look at the MSI MPG X870E Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. It's a feature-rich motherboard with performance to match and supports all of the latest Ryzen 7000, 8000 and 9000 series of processors. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and then leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.